Hello all. So today I am going to take up a very important topic from metallurgy that is phase diagrams. So basically a phase diagram is a diagram graphical representation which represents the different types of phases at different combinations of various parameters. Like in this case we are going to take up a unary phase diagram. Unary phase diagram is one which contains only single substance. So here we are going to see the behavior of different phases or existence of different phases at different combinations of pressure and temperature. So here I have taken a very general phase diagram which represents the various types of phases that are present in case of carbon dioxide. So a phase diagram basically unary phase diagram uh, for most of the substance substances it contains three lines so these lines basically they show the separation between two different phases like in this case you can clearly see that this line represents uh, separates solid phase from gaseous phase this line separates liquid from gaseous phase and this line it uh, uh, differentiates between solid and liquid phase. So at this point all these three lines you can see they meet and this point is known as triple point. So this is a very important point for uh, different substances. So triple point is a unique combination of pressure and temperature at which all the three phases that is, that is solid, liquid and gas all the three phases they exist simultaneously or in other words we can say that all the three phases they coexist at this particular combination of temperature and pressure. So let us say this is the phase diagram of carbon dioxide. So in case of carbon dioxide this triple point is well above the atmospheric pressure. So if you plot the phase diagram of carbon dioxide, the triple point occurs at a pressure well above the atmospheric pressure. So at atmospheric pressure, suppose you are in the solid region and you start increasing the temperature of the solid carbon dioxide which is known as dry ice. So if you increase the temperature, then you can clearly see the liquid phase is bypassed. The solid that is the dry ice that sublimates. Sublimate means it directly gets converted into the gaseous phase without going into the liquid phase. So the reason is because the triple point is well above the atmospheric pressure. So similarly we can see the behavior or the phase changes at different combinations of pressures and temperatures. So this is the phase diagram of carbon dioxide. Now we are going to discuss a very important unary phase diagram that is the phase diagram of water. So the major difference between the phase diagram of carbon dioxide and water is that this line has negative slope in case of water. In case of water, the line separating solid and liquid region, it has negative slope. And the second major difference is the triple point of the water, it exists at a pressure which is well below one atmosphere. So at atmospheric pressure, if you are going to increase the temperature of water, then you can see at this particular temperature, the solid phase, it is going to change into liquid phase. And on further increasing the temperature, at this point, the liquid phase, it is going to change to gaseous phase. So solid to liquid is known as melting, liquid to gas, it is known as vaporization. So of course this temperature represents the normal melting point which is 0 degree centigrade. This temperature represents the normal boiling point 
which is 100 degree centigrade. So at one atmosphere pressure, at atmospheric pressure, the water, uh, it melts, the ice, it melts at 0 degree centigrade and the water boils at 100 degree centigrade. So you can see that by just studying this phase diagram thoroughly, we can get the different phases and their behaviors at different combinations of pressure and temperature. So I hope this basic phase diagram is clear to you. So in my coming videos, I will be explaining the phase diagram of binary systems and there are different other systems uh, depending upon the compatibility of the two components of the binary system. So that's all for my today's lecture. I hope you all have understood this. So thank you. For